So let's deal with some background when it comes to the Armory Show. In the 18th and 19th centuries, artists are trained at academies in which idealistic realism reigns supreme. This is the atelier, where you're going through a specific progression when learning to create the greatest art. You're going to start by drawing. They don't even give you color. You're drawing plaster cast. Eventually, you start drawing from life. Once you get to that point, they start giving you color. And it's usually about a three to four year progression from your first drawing of a plaster cast up until you finally graduate. Now, many European artists of the mid 1800s, mid 19th century, rebel against academic art. But in America, uh, at the turn of the century, academic styles and modes of exhibition are still strong. The United States tends to be incredibly conservative when it comes to art. And we're seeing that at this point. At the same time that we're seeing Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Fauvism, etc. in Europe, in the United States, and we're still seeing Winslow Homer, we'll steer, we are still seeing very conservative, very nostalgic, realistic forms of art. So, in 1911, four young artists who were fed up with the Academy uh, began meeting at the Madison Gallery in New York to discuss new strategies for exhibiting art in the United States. That group eventually gives birth to the Association of American Painters and Sculptors, which were composed, which was composed of young anti-academy artists. And in 1913, they, the American Painters and Sculptors, will organize the Armory Show. Now, by this time, the purview of the Association of American Painters and Sculptors had expanded to include bringing the newest European art to the American audiences. They felt that if they could expose Americans to these forms, Americans would adopt them just like the Europeans. Of course, that leaves aside the issue that not all Europeans adopted these newer forms. The members of the association felt that it was time for the American people to have an opportunity to see and judge for themselves the work of the Europeans who are creating new art. So they're trying to bypass the galleries. Actually, they're working with Stieglitz quietly, but that's another matter. But what they're going to do is they're hoping that if we can show this amazing art to the people, the people will accept it, or at least they'll start talking about it. And they sure will start talking about it as we're going to see. And that discussion, even though it's not in favor of the art, is probably the most important element to all of this. Just starting the conversation, getting people to think about abstraction, the avant-garde, and the question of what is art. 